Now it's time to shed some light on why some ethnic groups are at higher risk for diabetes, high cholesterol, and high blood pressure, because the harsh reality is it's having a devastating effect on the health of minorities, and many don't even know it. Join us to talk about this is CVS pharmacist Yushima Thomas. Welcome Hi, to the guys. show. And I do have to make it obvious that poor diet, lack of exercise, that is causing a major spike in the incidence of diabetes and heart disease in this country. But type 2 diabetes is on the rise among African Americans, Hispanic and Latino Americans, American Indians, Asian Americans, and Pacific Islanders. Now, we do know genetic factors play a role in who gets the disease. What it ends up doing is it affects your insulin secretion and insulin resistance in the body which can have a whole host of other issues when it comes to your overall health. That's why we're talking about this. Well, you know, it's interesting because largely what we're seeing in the rise of obesity and type 2 diabetes is lifestyle changes. People need to make better lifestyle changes. Not eating well, not exercising, all these things are impacting not just our waistlines, but what's going on internally and physiologically. Yeah, and screening is the best key, but you have to know the symptoms of these things that can occur. You can have frequent urination, um, you can have excessive hunger, and increased thirst. These are three key symptoms for diabetes. And after you're actually initially diagnosed with diabetes, diet exercise are definitely key. But you also want to make sure that you manage your medication correctly and you are adhering to what your doctor actually prescribed for you. Um, one of the things we do at CVS Pharmacy, because it can be a little bit costly for diabetic management, we offer a program called the Extra Care Advantage for Diabetes Program, where we do offer discounts and rewards for the diabetic supplies, the strips, the monitors, things that can be costly for patients and kind of interfere with them actually becoming, being adherent to their medication. High cholesterol is another disease that hits minorities more often because genes play a role in how food is metabolized and how much your uh, cholesterol your body actually produces. And along with cholesterol, usually you see other factors like diabetes, high blood pressure. And so it's very important so when you're getting your medication to have them consolidated at one pharmacy so that we can look for things like side effects, drug interactions, and these things actually sometimes impede people from taking their medication. They won't be adhering because they're unaware of actually what's going on. So we offer that. And one of the big you. problems with high cholesterol, mm -hmm. a lot of times no symptoms are associated exactly. with it and, until it's too, late. it's too late. Really the only way to find out that you have high cholesterol, like you said, you need to get that blood test. And, and that's why I say to people, it's about knowledge. And I wrote the book because it's about knowledge. Know that there's an HDL and an LDL, a good cholesterol and a bad cholesterol, and the relationship between the two and why that makes a difference. Well, all these big three illnesses we're talking about, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high blood sugar, which is diabetes, initially, no symptoms. That's why screening is so important. These all greatly increase your risk for stroke and heart attack, the major killers in this country. So let's talk about risk factors. Let's talk about ways we can improve this once you know your numbers. While the country, by the way, as a whole is overweight, African Americans and Latino Americans tend to be higher on the charts. But you also have to look at your lifestyle choices, the kind of cuisine you're eating, heavy fried foods, High calorie foods, no, look at her eyes there. Yeah, that's right. Tastes great, but guess what? Doesn't necessarily feel great. And so these are some of the major risk factors for African Americans and other minorities. We do have control in a lot of these circumstances. In some circumstances, genetic factors will predispose you, but in some circumstances, in a lot of circumstances, we can turn the tide. Yeah, you don't have to let your genetics rule you. Healthy diet, lots of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, those are gonna help exercising, not smoking, all these healthy lifestyle habits as well as screening. And if your doctor prescribes medication, make sure you take your medication if it's necessary. Sometimes people get that initial prescription filled and then it kind of just lags after that first fill. We have a program at CVS called Ready Fill where we automatically fill the prescription for you when it's a maintenance medication, whether it's diabetes, high blood pressure, cholesterol. And if you haven't picked it up in 30 days, we call and remind you, hey, this is a very important medication. You can't go without skipping this medication or you're gonna get yourself in trouble. And Asu Salute to Your Health is a program that CVS will go out into the communities this summer. We will offer free health care screenings in metropolitan areas Areas for diabetes, for heart disease, for high blood pressure, cholesterol. osteoporosis, cholesterol. You know, I've worked with CVS and I do something called the Makeover Mile, where we get people to get out and walk one mile just to begin physical activity. But the Makeover Mile on the two health events, we're trying to get people all across the country to realize, hey, come on in, come to our programs for free, by the way, that's the key. Everything yep. is free to at least know where you are so we can kind of put you into the system.